Oh, hi, didn't see you there. I'm Fem Sterling, here on the Jimquisition for the first time. Fuck. So I've been pretty much full-time here in my non-binary finery. Been doing that on some social media, been doing that on live streaming, been doing that um, in this building and as of last night, recording now, um, like outside. Um, so fuck it, here we are. It's uh, went away so fast and so recently. We did at one point wonder if it had anything to do with coming out visibly as trans on the notoriously trans hostile YouTube.com, but I've been assured by gamers and YouTube commenters the world over that suddenly losing 2,000 subs the exact day I came out and a further 2,000 with every subsequent post is sheer coincidence. Are you sure it's because you came out as non-binary on the notoriously transphobic YouTube.com, which is complete and utter bullcrap, they are far from transphobic, their Pride Month ads will tell you differently, and it couldn't be because of this little piece of trash? Capitalism out loud, because you can intimate it, but you can't say the word, because then too many people worked out that the show is about how capitalism is bad. And then, that's when I did too much politics. Well, that and whenever I've acknowledged a woman exists in video games, that's too politics as well. So when an individual like yourself comes out and says, capitalism's evil, yet manages to make money and profit from capitalism. Maybe that's why people got a little pissed off at you. And also videos like this attack on Scott Cawthon, a man who's fearing for his life and is worried about his pregnant wife. Bravo. <laughs>
everybody has known for a long time. Being pro-life is being anti-abortion. Why is that so? How did you just figure this out? Why do people still follow this dude? Seriously, why do they follow him? I, I, I'm, I'm still baffled. I'm baffled every day by people following him. But then again, he is low intelligence. And his fan base is low intelligence. I used to be part of his fan base. Thank goodness I got out of it. Bothan has been donating money to some of the most hateful and despicable human beings around, including the fashy wanker who earlier this year instigated a distinctly un-American coup that tried to violently overturn a democratic election. As a big Trump supporter, Scott Cawthon automatically sucks. Trump was a fascist who openly transgressed rules and regulations, corruptly awarded positions of power to unqualified friends, and, well, Jesus Christ, do I really have to explain why the hate monger who stoked and coddled the racist, homophobic, white supremacist QAnon is a bit of a fucking dickhead. Cawthon's contributions are- I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Today we will see whether Republicans stand strong for integrity of our elections. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Today we will see whether Republicans stand strong for integrity of our elections, but whether or not they stand strong for our country. How did he stage that coup? Like, seriously, you don't have to like Trump, but how in the world did he stage that coup? Because he seems to have said, um, peacefully protest. Peacefully protest. Even the Democrats tried to say that that wasn't an, a, a good enough defense, which ended up failing for them. I'm not a Republican. But boy, I'm certainly not a Democrat. You guys tend to believe everything that is pushed your way. Uh, uh, I'm just confused. Saying peacefully protest, you can't control how people act. Can you? No, you can't. Hey, it's Editing Gabe. Let us never forget, though, that these same idiots that are accusing Trump of the Capitol riots are the same idiots that cheered on fools like Maxine Waters when she said crap like this. We can't protect anybody. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, in a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome. The people are going to turn on them, they're going to protest, they're going to uh, absolutely harass them until they decide that they're going to tell the president, no, I can't hang with you. Not in D.C. Not in the U.S. 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 Our issue is strong borders, no crime. Their issue is open borders. Let MS-13 all over our country. That's what's going to happen. If so Trump tells people to peacefully protest. And that's him starting an insurrection. Maxine Waters openly tells people to bully and harass Trump supporters and cabinet members. And that scene is being perfectly fine. What? Ed. Cawthon's contributions are practically entirely Republican in nature. Yes. Notice that keyword, practically. It's almost as if you don't want to take a look into the Democrats he's donated to either. Or look at his entire statement at all and see that he doesn't really hate LGBT people at all. You just want to attack him for being a conservative Christian living in Texas, which is really not too shocking to anybody except big brain people like yourself chat and includes donations to spineless Trump lackey Devin Nunes, as well as the distinctly un-American Mitch McConnell. Yes, 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 Mitch McConnell is absolutely horrible. I know this, you know this, most Republicans know this, most Democrats know this. So we're, we're not gonna listen to him spout out why the Turtle Man is an awful person, because he is. He doesn't care about the Republicans, he doesn't care about the Democrats, he just cares about Mitch. Kind of like most politicians, to be quite honest with you. Republicans are the ones almost uniformly in favor of businesses refusing to serve gay people, citing their precious religious liberty, which in their diseased minds is superior to the personal liberty of Americans. Jim, how difficult is this to understand? A private business who happens to be a religious in nature has every right 
to not serve LGBT items. You're going after that whole masterpiece bake shop thing, which a lot of LGBT people on the left and the right both found to be absolutely disgusting that that bake shop was targeted. Oh no, an owner that's openly Christian saying that they will not make anything LGBT related, but they're more than willing to sell you a blank cake and you can decorate it yourself. Oh, you don't want to because you want to force your views down my throat? All while claiming the Christian shop is forcing their views down your throat? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you wanted to play double standards here. Oh, the shop even said they'd sell you anything else in the shop and they'd even point you in the direction of a bake shop that would happily make you a gay wedding cake? Oh, that's not enough for you. I'm sorry. I didn't know you wanted to play perpetual victim. Cawthon's daddy Mitch McConnell was among several high-ranking Republicans who urged the Supreme Court to allow states to ban gay marriage and only dropped it because it became legally improbable, not because he didn't believe the pathetic and ridiculous argument that marriage should be between a man and a woman. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you know what? He was definitely wrong for that. I stopped being against gay marriage back in 2018 because I had an epiphany when I was mowing the lawn that yes, I am a Christian. Yes, I believe marriage is between a man and a woman, but it is not my place to play God. It is not my place to force my views on other people. So why on earth would I vote against something that's a person's free will? That's not acceptable to do at all. And you know what? I almost didn't speak on gay marriage at all when I used to be a political channel, but it was a gay man who actually told me, be honest with who I am as a person, be honest with my views, and we have talked for about seven years now. Like, he has been very respectful to me. And most of the LGBT that I've spoken to who know my position has been very, very kind to me because they know at the end of the day, it's my personal views, I don't hate them as people, and they like me, and I like them, and we can agree to disagree and get along just fine. Oh no, people having disagreements on things and managing to be adults about it, what a novel concept, it's almost like we're back in the 90s. Anyway, despite all this, many of those not directly negatively impacted by the actions or inactions of the Republican Party have wondered exactly what the problem is, arguing that Scott Cawthon is free to spend his money wherever he wants, and that doing so in no way impacts who he is as a person, or whether or not his game should be supported. Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. That is 100% exactly right, dude. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, you can choose to think with your wallet if you want to, you can choose not to support it if you want to, but that's basically it. It doesn't. This is a very, very easy position to argue if you're not marginalized, if the general day-to-day -day politics of the nation don't really impact you in any significantly noticeable way. Hold up, you rich, you stupid rich fat bastard. You can say that, but last I checked, when the pipeline shut down, gas went up to two, three fifteen a gallon. I, it was hard for me to find a job. Don't tell me the day-to-day -day politics don't affect me. Don't tell me that the day-to-day -day politics only affect the poor little gay peoples and the poor little minority peoples, which I am a minority. Don't give me that bullcrap, you stupid, self-righteous fat bastard. Way. Unfortunately, many people are directly impacted by the beliefs and actions of Mitch McConnell and his treasonous, murderous pals. It's been noted that much of the criticism of Scott Cawthon has come from the LGBTQIA community, and it should be hardly surprising given the sheer volume of attacks the Republicans have launched on queer people since the dawn of time, and especially in the past few years. The very fact that Republicans have fought marriage equality tooth and nail and still have an eye toward nuking it should be enough, really. That's it. That should literally be enough for all of you to understand why some of us might think that directly funding Republicans is not a harmless bit of personal spending. Seriously, how is that not enough? You want to talk about those who aren't directly affected? Well, this individual seems to be a trans lady. And she was like, why are people whining about Scott Cawthon? But wait, I thought LGBT issues weren't political. When did that suddenly change? Hmm, it's like every everyone whining about this can't make up their dang minds and enjoy changing the rules when necessary. Y'all can't say all games are political and say LGBT issues are not political while at the same time complaining about this. One or the other, pick a freaking side. I mean, you want to talk to those that are affected by this stuff and you want to be the ambassador for LGBT people, which I don't know who in the world made you that. She seems like she's a trans person who sides with Scott Cawthon. So your whole bit on saying, well, it's easy to take that position when you're not affected by the politics that he supports. Are you going to say that this individual is an idiot? Are you going to say that this person is my personal favorite? They haven't said it to this person e exactly. Not to my knowledge, but I've seen people say that that the trans people defending Scott aren't really trans. Are you going to say crap like that? Are you going to mock my gay friends and my lesbian friends for siding with Scott? Because you want to seem to be the ambassador for LGBT people and say that, hey, the, it's easy for you straight cis white men to take this position when it doesn't affect you, but I'm a minority and I'm a conservative, and these seem to be either conservatives or left-leaning people who are willing to not hate on conservatives, and they seem to be okay with it. So, your whole point is taken completely apart just by that alone. Good lord, dude, you are not smart, and you are not the ambassador for all things rainbow flag related. I mean, I could go on about the fact that the man in charge currently has said this about black people. This was the last true yellow dog Dixiecrat, and they were talking about Joe Biden who got up there and when the speech he gave, I mean, I was really offended. I heard it, right outside the state capitol building in Dover, which was a rundown ransacked old house, 250 years old. 
Mm-hmm. And he said, Negro children are like roaches. If they're allowed to integrate the schools, they will infest them and they will never be gotten out. Negro. <laughs> Joe Biden said that? Yeah, I heard it. Saw it. Mm-hmm. He said, Negroes were animals and they turned the streets into jungles. And he and Senator Eastland had a plan where they could put all of these Negro animals in zoos. Now we talk about the 94 crime bill. But I guess discrimination against minorities is okay as long as it's your party that's doing it. Mm-hmm. Oh. And Biden's views really haven't changed he said this on the campaign trail he's also the version of joe biden that says things that are controversial inadvertently to be sure and to lou i want to play you something he said when he was speaking to a group of what we understand was hispanic and asian voters in iowa yesterday so let's listen to this we have this notion that somehow if you're poor you cannot do it poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids wealthy kids black kids asian kids not really mean but think how we think about